Hello everyone. This video is about the new AUG blog made by Monmark, who is the lead developer, and he's talking about the new combat rework, and there's a bunch of new info in there and a lot of repeats, so I thought I'd go through it and just give the new info. And if you would like to read it, the news post is just on the front page at the moment. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. Um, I should also mention that this is just going to be a listening video. I don't really have any good footage to put in, um, and I'm also stuck offline because all the worlds are offline, so I can't even video anything. But anyway, here's the info that he gives. So first off, the main thing is the long-awaited combat formula. So we know what the combat level will be now, and the combat level will be your max, your highest level in either attack, strength, range, or magic, plus your defense level plus two. So that means if you're 50 attack and 48 defense, you'll be 100 combat. If you're 99 attack and defense, you'll be 200 combat. So that's quite interesting. That's a lot higher than I was expecting. I was thinking 150 maybe. Um, but I think it's going to be sort of strange because it will pretty much just mean that everyone should max out everything. There's no advantage to really making a range tank when you can raise your attack and strength to the same level as your range without increasing your combat level. Uh, so I don't really understand how it's going to help specialization. It's, I mean, it's pretty much just making everyone want to max out, which is fine. I mean, it's okay to have everyone max out, I guess, but it does sort of take something away from having different playing styles. Uh, also, just to mention, prayer summoning and constitution don't affect combat level at all. I'm a bit iffy on that. I can see constitution because you train constitution when you're training your other skills, so it doesn't really make sense. I mean, it doesn't matter if you have it added to the combat level or not. Uh, I mean, if you're training combat, you'll have the health level anyway. Summoning is sort of the same because if you train on monsters that drop charms, then you'll probably have about the same summoning level as your combat level. So. I mean, something's a little bit iffy, because once you get to Steel Titans, they can be quite overpowered, especially if you're much lower, or if your combat level's misleading. And then Prayer, I don't really understand. I mean, I, I see why they did it, because they wanted it just to just be a nice, even combat formula, but Prayer has a huge effect on combat, and it really should affect the combat level. But then again, I guess I could say the same thing about, uh, about Herb Lore, and uh, that's not in combat either, so... I, it's okay, it would only be 12 combat levels, or I mean now it's only 12 combat levels, so it's not even a huge deal. Okay, and then along with the combat levels, they're updating monsters. So monsters, first of all, will have different levels, so stronger monsters will be higher level, and monsters will be given new attack styles, strengths, and weaknesses. There was some mention of the strengths and weaknesses in previous videos, uh, but it's yeah good to reiterate that, I guess. Um, and Here's the new main thing, the new main info that's being given out. You will no longer get experience for fighting monsters that are more than 30 levels below you. So if you're 200 combat, well, I mean, actually at high combat levels, they said it's a 50 level limit. But uh, pretty much if you're 100 combat and you're fighting a monster that's below level 70, you won't get any experience for fighting it. I assume if you're slaying and you get a low level slayer monster, then you'll probably still get slayer experience. But yeah, probably not combat. Um... So that's interesting. It's It depends on how they rework the NPC levels. I mean, I, I like how that people aren't going to be just camping at like bandits or rock crabs to train on, and they'll be training on stuff that's more related to their level. And in that way, it's definitely good. But I'm just a little bit worried about certain aspects, like if there's some new drop that comes out or something that makes you want to camp at a lower level monster, not getting combat experience is going to be sort of annoying, especially if it's not even that low of a combat level monster. It, yeah, I'd rather be getting experience from it, but we'll see how it goes. It's a bit too early to, to uh, judge that. And then a couple miscellaneous things, uh, nothing really major. They said that they're reworking code so that it, it'll be easier to add new updates to things, and then also that prices will fluctuate a lot during the beta. I'm not sure why they had to warn people about that, but I guess if people are completely oblivious... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's a pretty long news post, but that's pretty much it. Uh, there was a good bit of information in there, and if you'd like to read it, just take a look at the link in the description or the main page. It's still up there, or at least it is when this video is being put out. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, I've got a video, which I'll put the annotation on the screen here, of the new Supreme uh, Supreme Champions helmet from the new Crucible minigame. So if you'd like to take a look at that, take a look on the uh, annotation here. And yeah, thanks for watching.